Welcome back. So I've been getting some requests on uh, tutorials on how I do my 16 by 16 pixel characters. So I thought I'd create a blank project and start making some. So let's double click. Let's go ahead and select a sprite. First thing we're going to do is change the size to 16 by 16. Now the first thing I like to do when I make a new pixel sprite character is do the silhouette. Now the first thing I'll do is grab this paintbrush and we'll do the head. Now that's probably going to be quite big for the head so I'm going to drop that down to 6 in the pixel size and that looks like a pretty good head to me. Now I'm going to bring it a couple of pixels, maybe three pixels down from the top to give me room for hair. Then I'm going to grab the rectangle tool, make sure that the second half of this is zero alpha and then I'm going to draw a stick, a double stick line down to the beginning um, or even two really. And that's generally the base that I start from for every single pixel character that I ever make. The next thing I do is put the hands in. So I'll do like a standard kind of hands in front or hands on the hips kind of pose. And my hands will be generally just a block of four pixels there. And then we can start fleshing out the body. When you're designing characters, you want them to kind of be memorable. So you want them to be instantly recognizable via a silhouette. And as you can see that this fellow right here is not that recognizable. If we were to give him a bit of a haircut here, he becomes a little bit more recognizable. We give him sticky out ears. He'd probably be a little bit more recognizable. A wider shoulder here, perhaps a bit of a cape that comes down. Now he looks a little bit more like a silhouette that you might recognize. Once you're happy with your silhouette, then we can start blocking out the basic tones. So let's give him a skin color and we're just going to roughly make an area where the face would be. Now we're going to roughly make an area where the hands would be. And I'm just going to put two L's there back to front. So you can see he's already starting to take form a little bit now. You can see this cape that we put in the bottom is not really evident of what it is so we can probably just move that up there as well and probably take the corners off. Let's now choose a hair color. Let's go for yellow. Let's now color the ears in. Oh, starting to look a bit like an elf. Now we need to look at his clothing. So we're going to imagine he's going to have a big kind of gown or a big cape on with a bit of a cloak. So the inside of this is probably going to be a different color. So I'm going to go ahead and select white. Draw a few pixels down there. This will indicate that he's kind of wearing a bit of an overcoat. You could go back and get the yellow here and maybe put a belt in, which looks kind of nice. And then we've got really just kind of four colors going on here. And one of them was just the silhouette color. You could change this to whatever you want. So let's make it a bit of a purple color. It's starting to look a bit like a vampire. We're gonna just color that in. In fact, let's just go ahead and use the paint bucket tool. Color the whole thing in nice and quickly. Now we need to give him some eyes. We're gonna use the white. And what you'll notice here with the eyes is, I don't have a lot of space to do this. So if we were to do that, and then that, that's not really gonna look very good at all. The eyes are not gonna look good there. You could put him there, so he's kind of looking kind of a little bit kind of suspect to the right or the left, or you could just leave it as two dots. Emphasize eyes just by uh, giving it a little bit of a dark, darker shade where the eyes might be, and then pop in your black. That looks quite nice. I think we'll stick with that one. Now, once we've got the basic colors in place, we can start looking at form. And by form, I mean highlighting and shading. So we'll start at the top and work our way down. So we click the yellow. First thing we're gonna do is get a nice bright yellow. We're gonna hue shift for the orange slightly and then go brighter, probably a bit brighter than that. And then we're gonna give him some highlights or even maybe just half his head could be when you're, when you're doing your highlighting, uh, the first thing you want to imagine is where's the light source going to be coming from. So I always imagine the light source to be in the top left. So if the sun shining was up here, it would be shining down to the bottom right. So everything closest to this top section here that's not being cast uh, a shadow on is going to be brighter. So if we take the hair and we go a little bit darker, the hair around the side of his face here is probably going to be a bit darker. So if we just use the color here between the eyes, we can then start putting in the shadow, which might be all along the fringe up here, and then the bottom of the ears, and then we can work on the clothes. So the first thing we'll do is get some nice bright purple for his shoulders and the side of his body there. 
which will have all the, sh the light shining on it. He might have a little bit on his right hand inner arm here because the sun will be reflecting. And then perhaps down the left side of his leg or even the left leg entirely. I'm not really a fan of that, but that looks okay to me. And now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to go darker. And then the darker shades are probably going to be here around his armpit down the side of the body where the arm's casting a shadow on. Definitely under the chin here. And I don't like that single block, so I'll probably just block that out. Come half his body there. And then likewise, we've got the highlight on the left. We'll put the shadow on the right. The cape on the back of the body is probably going to be darker still. So we can probably go ahead and do that black. Probably drop that down again to that. <clears throat> At the top of the body, the cape's going to want to come around his neck. So we'll probably end up putting a couple of straps, a couple of black or darker, very dark purple blocks in there. Take the highlight again, just dab the top of the shoulders. I feel like we should have probably a little bit of a shadow in there where he's going to cast that shadow from this arm onto the body. I quite like that. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good guy. Now, I like to put like a dark outline around my guys. And that's a much better outline. Oh but we do need to make him a little bit bigger. And there he is. Uh, this looks a little bit bulky at the bottom here. I don't really like that. It takes away from the legs. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off even to there. And I'm just gonna make that the cape. Or I might even just take it away altogether. But what I don't like here is this straight diagonal line down on both sides. I don't think that looks very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this hand up one and that's easily done by just doing that. Then it looks like it's a little bit higher on his hip and I'm going to leave that one down there. Really easy way to idle a player character especially if it's your first one and you just want to get things done. Select the animation, give him a second frame. We've just right clicked and duplicated it. Set the animation to loop Let's put it on a speed two. And then on the second frame, we're going to use this select tool here. I'm going to select his head and we're just going to move it down one. And then that, we'll just let him kind of bob his head up and down. And that's a really kind of quick, easy way to kind of create a bit of an idol. It's not the best way, I don't think. Um, it's going to double up some pixels here so we can fix that. We don't want doubled up pixels, but we can do that. We can move that up. Move that up, move that up, move the purple across. So now he's kind of shrugging himself into his body. If we're shrugging the head down, I think it would be quite nice to move the hands up. So let's do that. Let's copy the pink, move that up one level. Same thing we did on the other side, we'll do here. We'll move that up, we'll cut that across, we'll move it up. So now you can see he's moving that one up. This one, let's move it into the body here. We'll make it a fist. And we'll put it there. Although it doesn't look quite good going from that L-shaped hand to a fist hand. So what we'll do is we'll make it a L-shape again, but we'll rotate it. And I think if we're doing it with one, we should probably do it with the other one. And probably do that. There you go. Now he's kind of cupping his hands together, bobbing his head up and down. And that's a real quick and easy way to get a nice little animation for an idol. Uh, in the next episode, let's give him a walk left and right animation. And then we may do eight directions or diagonals. Uh, we can do some attack animations, some hurt animations. I'm going to show you how to build out a playable character in a nice pixel art 16 by 16 size. So thanks for watching. If you're making your first game, drop some links. Let me know what you're making. Uh, drop some comments. Let me know what you're making. Uh, it'll be great to see uh, how your games are progressing. If you found the tutorial useful, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and maybe subscribe for some more content and I'll see you in the next video.